All right, today we're going to be looking at slope and thinking about what does it mean in the real world. So slope is the rate of change. It tells you what something is changing by. And to find the slope, the rate of change between data points, you can always find the change in y and divide that by the change in x. We're going to look at a couple problems today. The first one's going to be from a table. So if you're looking at slope, and you remember that you have to find the change in y divided by the change in x, it's important to identify what's x and what's y. So in this situation, we've got number of toppings being compared to the cost of a pizza. Because the cost of your pizza depends on the number of toppings, the cost of your pizza is y, and your number of toppings is x. This asks me to calculate the slope and explain what it means in this context. So I'm going to look here at the cost of the pizza, and I look at the change in y. So from 950 to 1250, it changes by $3. The number of toppings at that time, it goes from one topping to three toppings, it changes by two toppings. So I'm going to take that change in y, which is $3, and divide it by the change in x, which is two toppings, and I'll do 3 divided by 2, which is 1.5. I'm going to check and see if that holds consistent for the other data points. So $12.50 to $14, that goes up by $1.50. And from 3 to 4, it adds one topping. So again, if I do 150 divided by 1, I also get 1.5. And then we'll check one more time. From 14 to 18.50, it goes up by $4.50. From 4 to 7, we're adding 3 toppings, so 450 divided by 3 is 1.5 as well, or 1.50. So if I calculate, calculate my slope, my slope is 150, or 1 1.5. But I want to really think about what that means in this context. So it's a rate, it's a rate of change, and I'm going up $1.50 for every one topping. So that means that this pizza the pizza toppings must cost $1.50 per topping. If you're explaining slope in the real world, probably 90% of the time, or maybe 99% of the time, you're going to use the word per as you describe it. Okay, we're still going to be looking at slope here, but this time we're going to look from a graph. So here's a graph on the left, and they were talking about gasoline usage in a car, so always important to get the context of what you're doing. We're still going to do the exact same thing, we're, so we're going to find the change in y and divide it by the change in x. So we're looking at two data points on the graph that you can find out where they are, and you can pick ones like these red that are right next to each other, or you can separate it. I'm just going to use these two points first. And to find it on a graph, I find it really helpful to draw this little right triangle, to see what's happening, and then just kind of look at what's going on. So on the left, on this axis here, from the two data points I picked, I went from 14 to 13, it went down by 1. The y value changed by 1, negative 1 since it went down. On the x-axis, if I look just at those two data points here, we can notice it goes from 25 to 50. So it changes by 25. So I'm going to write this as negative 1 over 25. And it's really common to leave your slope as a fraction like that, so negative 1 25th. If I tried this from other points, say I decided to go from this blue point to the next one, and I did the same type of thing, this time I went down by 2 in my y value, but over by 50. And if I check that negative 2 divided by 50, it still equals negative 1 25th. So this should match no, where, no matter where you choose on the line. So my slope is negative 1 25th. That's my slope. And I need to talk about what it means in this context, so I need to read the labels of the graph. So it's the gallons are my y, and my miles driven are the x. So it looks like negative 1 25th. It loses one gallon for every 25 miles you drive, or it loses 1 25th, goes negative 1 25th of a gallon per mile. We lose one gallon for every 25 miles we drive. Okay, so I want you to just focus on that and think about what it means in the real world context, and we will practice this skill quite a lot.